hecho la segunda. All right, everyone. I just have a couple of quick things that I want to talk about in this video. As you can see, we're starting with the Gallimimus enclosure, but when I built it, I started with the Triceratops and then went to the Gallimimus, but for the sake of this video and what I want to talk about, I flip-flopped them. So the end of the video looks a little weird. It shows the Gallimimus paddock and it's unfinished, but it's supposed to be that way. So anyhow, uh, in regards to where the Gallimimus paddock ended up being, as I said in the first video, I made some alterations to the fences and kind of where certain dinosaurs are kept. Uh, and if you look at all of these maps that are popping up on the screen, for the most part the Gallimimus would be in the southern portion of the park, but According to the JP Legacy map, the Gallimimus Stampede actually happens in the enclosure that was supposed to be for another... It should have been another Brachiosaurus and Parasaurolophus or herbivore enclosure. But since the Stampede was there and I feel like, you know, most people associate the Gallimimus in general with those mountains in the, you know the valley where they stampede, and we never actually get to see the Gallimimus enclosure before they supposedly break out if the JP Legacy map is correct. So that was just a creative uh, liberty that I took. So I put them there. I had to cut off a decent portion of the Velociraptor paddock to fit the mountains and make it kind of work. I mean, as I found out when I was filming the scenes for Rise of Nublar, it still is not very big at all, and if you watch closely, not to uh, spoil anything or whatever, but I literally just had the Gallimimus running back and forth, which is why, uh, you know, they're not really passing over that many hills. There's only, I think, two one or two big hills, and yeah, I, I just had to keep going back and forth because it's really not that much space. I crammed a lot into this park. I feel like the enclosures are decently big still, but uh, moving on from the Gallimimus paddock, I wanted to just talk a little bit about the Triceratops. I show some stills from the, the movie and then like all the behind the scenes photos that I was able to find and if you look at those when Grant sees the Jeep off in that field if you compare that to where the actual sick Triceratops is it doesn't really make sense um, I mean unless I'm missing something when you see the Jeep in the field you cannot see the Triceratops and as you'll see in the photos, there's like a little uh, pond or something, and then there's, you know, it snakes away off into the jungle. And you don't see that in that field. So what I came up with, as you'll see when the video gets there, I have the field, and then the where the sick Triceratops is is just off to the left a little bit. As far as accuracy goes, I really have no idea. Um, there's, even with all the behind the scenes photos and whatnot, there's not really much in regards to the layout and figuring that out properly. I could not find any behind the scenes photos of that field. Maybe I'm looking in the wrong spots, but it is what it is at this point. Overall, I think it turned out pretty well, but as I have said and will continue to say this was not supposed to be a 100% accurate recreation. The last thing that I want to talk about is something that I said I would talk about in the last video and that is the traffic jam that occurs at the Jurassic Park gate. That is a result of overlapping the tour tracks and 
unless you're going to alter the route of the tracks and create like a separate exit from the park, which I don't believe there was, it's going to have to uh, stay that way. And I'm going to do my best to explain the uh, quick fix that I have found to uh, eliminate the traffic jam, but unfortunately it also eliminates all the other tour vehicles depending on how you have the park set up. And actually I should explain that too. What I mean by that is when I upload this to Nexus, I'm not entirely sure which one I'm going to have set up, but as you go along the tour track, there is a tour building at the river cruise. There's one by the Velociraptor paddock, which that area is not done. Uh, that kind of got put on hold when the mod stopped working and also at the point where I was pretty content with the build. Um, I couldn't place the building that I wanted to. The game kept crashing, so uh, that's a work in progress. But anyhow, there are also there's also a tour building at the lagoon those are the three major like if you were to actually visit the park those would be the three areas where the cars would stop you would get out go check everything out and then continue the tour when you're done but there's really going to be two options not including everything in between but you can either have the tracks actually connected to the buildings so that when you go first person and ride the tour, you'll get kicked off at those locations, or you can actually make the track just go right through the building so that it is one continuous loop. Um, you know, depending on how you want to do it, if you just want to get in the car and go through the entire park you're gonna have to make the track go through the building but if you're planning on actually stopping and like riding the river cruise checking out the lagoon you're gonna want to connect the tracks to the building so I'll figure that out when I put it up and I'll have written instructions as to how to do all of that but back to the uh, traffic jam the best way to clear it is to take the move tool and just select the tour building by the uh, visitor center, move it a little bit, but then cancel. You don't actually place it in a different spot and that will get rid of the traffic jam. Uh, so with that in mind, if you want to take the full tour of the park, the best way to go about that would be to have the tracks just go through the buildings and that way the only vehicles on the entire tour track throughout the entire park are coming from the visitor center and by the time, say you set this up and you're on the first vehicle that exits the building, by the time you get to the gates again, you'll be the first car to essentially caused the traffic jam, but you will have seen the entire park at that point, so I feel like it's it's kind of crappy, but it, you know, you get to see the entire park. The only thing you can't do is ride back to the visitor center. If I can come up with a way to fix all of that without putting a separate exit from the park, um, I will definitely do that, but as of right now, it's not possible. So that's about all I wanted to cover in this video. As always, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, consider subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I will see you in the next video.